Hello everyone, I'm Holly Webb and this is my first pitch book. It's called Little Puppy Lost and it's illustrated by Rebecca Harry. Harry's tail wagged as he raced through the park. His eyes sparkled and his ears flapped from side to side as he looked at all the exciting things. Today's our first ever walk, Harry, Evie said, giving him a little hug. Isn't it fun? Harry wriggled with happiness. The park was the most wonderful place he'd ever seen. Suddenly, a bright red ball whisked past Harry's nose. His ears twitched as he flung himself after it. He was so excited, he didn't notice his brand new collar slipping off. Come back, Evie cried, waving his lead, but Harry didn't hear her. He pounced on the ball with a happy little growl, but then someone else growled much louder. Staring down at Harry were two huge dogs. Harry wriggled backwards. You can chase my ball, he said in a wobbly whisper. Oh no, the biggest dog barked. We're going to chase you. Harry yelped and raced for the wood, but the other dogs came pounding after him closer and closer. Through the trees, Harry spotted a hole. He wriggled inside just as the dogs raced by. He waited and waited and waited. Then at last he poked his nose out. It's all right, they've gone, a voice said from high above. Harry squeaked in surprise. Looking down at him was a thin, gingery cat. You're too little to be out here on your own, the cat said. I'm lost, Harry sniffed, and I don't know where my best friend Evie is. I was lost once too, the cat smiled gently. Don't worry, I can show you out of this wood. Oh, thank you, the little puppy beamed. I'm Harry, and I'm Ginger, said the cat. Follow me. Harry trotted after Ginger. Suddenly, a huge bird flapped out of the shadows in front of them. Watch out, Ginger cried, as Harry tumbled into a pile of leaves. Do you mind? Snapped a grumpy looking hedgehog. Come on, Ginger sighed, almost there. Harry's ears pricked up happily. Evie would be so pleased to see him. Evie, Evie, Harry barked. But the park was empty now, dark and silent. She's gone, Harry cried as he sank down on the cold grass. I want to go home, he whimpered. Ginger gave him a gentle nudge. We'll find the way, and we'll find you something to eat too, he added, as they set off towards the town. Down here? Harry sniffed uncertainly. The alley was dark, but something in the bin smelled delicious. Then he heard a snarl. There in the darkness was a huge white cat. She hissed at Ginger and slashed at him with her claws. Harry growled. There was no time to lose. He took a deep breath and barked and barked and barked. The noise echoed round the alley. The white cat squealed and shot away in fright. Ginger stared in amazement. Harry, he cheered, you're a hero. Harry wagged his tail shyly and sniffed around for something else to eat. But then he stopped and his nose quivered. Oh, he squeaked. What is it? Ginger asked. I can smell home, Harry cried as he darted out of the alley. It's this way. The two friends ran past the brightly lit shops and houses until, this is my house, Harry cried, scrabbling at the front door. Harry, Evie raced to scoop him up. You came home, she murmured, rubbing her cheek against his soft ears. We were so worried about you. But Harry jumped down. He'd forgotten Ginger. Don't go, he yelped. Ginger was trailing out of the garden, his ears flattened and sad. Have you brought a friend? Evie whispered, as Harry led Ginger back up the path. Evie took them inside and gave them lots to eat. Then Harry snuggled up on her knee. There's room for you too, Evie whispered to Ginger. The old cat purred happily. He curled himself around his friend, and together they fell fast asleep.